<laughs> I'm doing my pre-video warm-ups. Oh, that's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Warm, warming up. <laughs> hey, guys. This is Nicole. Well, this one, me. <gasps> that is the collie bear behind the camera. The Sassmeister. My husband. Yes. <laughs> this video is about what I ate to crush PCOS and lose weight. See that serious face? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I had PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, very bad symptoms. I used to be 375 pounds and my symptoms were out of control. I had excess facial hair, really bad hormonal acne, I had dark patches in places like my armpits and that kind of thing. I had ton of excess body hair. I was losing a ton of hair on my head so I was having male pattern baldness really badly. When I lost my first 50 pounds, you can't cure PCOS but when I lost my first 50 pounds my PCOS symptoms started to almost fade away. I still have some but they improved so much where I was able to lose 130 pounds total and have a fairly flat stomach, even though PCOS is supposed to make you hold on to belly fat. And my dark patches under my armpits, they were really dark, faded completely. I barely have them anymore. I don't have hormonal acne anymore, all because I lost weight. My hair loss is much less, and my excess body hair, I still get it, but not as bad as I used to. How I did it, I ate low glycemic and I'll show you exactly what I ate that helped me lose the first 50 pounds and also helped me get my PCOS symptoms under control. So before I show you what I ate, I want to tell you, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian. I'm a girl who lost weight and had and put my PCOS symptoms under control by eating this. And you're a comedian. And I'm also a comedian and I'm also kind of cool. And, funny. and a professional dancer. Oh yeah. <laughs> this worked for me. It may not work for you. But this is what I ate. And I still eat fairly similar. And it really helps with my PCOS. So let's get to it. Breakfast. In the very beginning, I didn't really eat a ton of protein. And I needed stuff that I was going to like, but still be low glycemic to help with my PCOS. Because eating a low glycemic diet is supposed to help you lose weight and keep your PCOS under control. So, oats was highly recommended for PCOS. However, I learned regular oats really irritate my PCOS. I wake up in the morning and um, in pain in my stomach. But gluten-free oats do not bother my PCOS. So a package of gluten-free oatmeal, plain oatmeal. This one is Trader Joe's. A friend of ours got it from the States for us. But you can also, like, I used gluten-free quick oats as well. Half a cup. Or a package um, this size. Plain oatmeal, cooked with water. In it, I would put... A teaspoon of zero calorie sweetener of any kind. We go between the Great Value and the Stevia brand. Half of a cup, that looks like this, of berries. Now, I specifically chose fruit. I chose the fruits that were lower glycemic, that had higher fiber and were slower digesting because they were supposed to be better for PCOS. So I still eat these berries every single day and they're really good. They, I don't get bloated and they've really helped. So I put ooh, half a cup of berries in the oatmeal to make it even better. Peanut butter, a tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, this one is natural. However, in the beginning, we did use regular and the regular didn't seem to irritate me. We just, we use less process now, but 
regular worked for me in the very beginning. And that blackberry, blueberry, cranberry mix, uh, specifically, raspberry. sorry, raspberry, specifically we chose that because you can't get much better than blackberries and blueberries. They're, they're so good. And raspberries too, they're pretty low in sugar. We sometimes threw strawberries in the mix too, but this is the mix that we have now. So oats, peanut butter, and berries. And I measured all my food out. That was my breakfast. It also kept me full and satisfied. And it was all of my favorite things. Fruit, peanut butter, carbs, delicious. Snack, love, again, fruit and nuts. Some of my favorite things. So I ate an apple, usually a small to medium size apple. Yeah, this one's a little on the this big side. This is a bit big, yeah. Kyle and I actually split apples when they're this big. So small to medium apple and a quarter cup of nuts. I loved peanuts, so I just ate salted peanuts in the beginning because it helped keep me on track and it helped me look forward to my snacks. And again, I was able to eat this amount and lose weight with PCOS and get my symptoms under control. So this is what a quarter cup looks like. That is a serving of nuts. We always try to show you guys, like we tell you what the serving, what we ate for serving size, but we always like to show you the serving size because in the beginning we were shocked at what an actual half cup, quarter cup looked like because we were eating way more than that before. Like triple, quadruple, and also, so you can see that a quarter cup of nuts is actually quite a good size. And peanuts are very calorie dense, so you, like, it fills you up. Like Nicole was saying about her breakfast, this is a nice filling snack where you're not gonna be hungry. I wanted and needed stuff that I looked forward to every meal that I was gonna wanna eat, that helped keep me on track, that I could portion, that was low glycemic, or that didn't bother my PCOS, and would help me also lose weight. Everyone always wants to eat like an organic vegan all-star in the beginning, but how sustainable it is, is how successful the diet is. Yeah, and this like really helped. Like, like I said, I still eat like this most of the time because it works for me. And as we went along, like you can fine tune later. You can yeah. get into the health nut stuff later on. In the beginning, we needed to look forward to it and have it sustainable. Which is why I ate full salted peanuts, why I ate regular peanut butter in the beginning, because I just needed something to work to help me, both to get the weight off and to stop my PCOS symptoms from basically like ruining my life because it was so uncomfortable all the time for me. Lunch, love tuna sandwiches. So I had half a can of tuna. We always like to get the flaked light tuna, the skipjack in water. Half a can with a tablespoon of light mayo. This is regular because we ran out of light, but it was always light mayo. And this is what a tablespoon looks like. Mixed again in half a can. Sometimes I would put chopped pickle, chopped celery, onion, green onion, and guys, white onion. Again, make sure you guys get in water. Not in oil, in water. Yeah. And then I put it in between two slices of bread. I ate carbs, like pretty much most meals. And we still do. And we still do. So whole grain bread, this one is oats and honey. It was, I chose any whole grain bread. I didn't limit myself. As long as it was whole grain, it didn't irritate me. So I'll pull this open so you guys can see it. And I ate two slices. So a tuna sandwich, two slices of whole grain bread, half a can of tuna, a tablespoon of light mayo. And then I had a cup of raw veggies, any, a cup of any, these are baby carrots, but I mixed it up. Choose Broccoli, what you like. Carrots, like it, celery, be, cucumber. Because we were measuring, um, we could choose what we liked. Usually we got a giant mix and just ate a bunch of different veggies. Use your favorites. None, none of the veggies bothered my stomach, so I just ate what I wanted. Um, one cup looks like this. And we ate a tablespoon of either two tablespoons of hummus or a tablespoon of low calorie dressing. This one is the low calorie ranch. 
We always use the light because we found the fat-free, it didn't taste very good, and we wanted to we wanted to really like our food, so we knew we had to choose in the middle. Not the full fat, but not the fat free. And we didn't want all the extras like the dressings and stuff to really throw us off our weight loss track, so we chose light. And we chose extras like the dressing again so that we would like it and stay on track, which helped us lose weight. And the first 50 pounds came off because I had so much weight to lose. The first 50 pounds came off in like three months. Like I lost some, some weeks, eight, 10 pounds, and then it started to slow down, but the weight came off so fast in the beginning, and then one to two pounds steady after I lost the first 50, then it started to slow down, but plateaus are normal. Before I forget, I ate three larger meals and two small meals. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner were my larger meals, and then I had two snacks. And I placed them wherever I wanted, so you, you don't necessarily have to go breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, like I'm showing you, you could put them wherever. Next, again, carbs, love them. Crackers and cheese, I eat crackers and cheese every day for a snack. Whole grain crackers and one and a half ounces of light cheese. I bought a food scale so that I could measure out the exact ounces of cheese and I would just cut off one and a half ounces or cut off it, cheese, weigh it out. One and a half ounces was a serving. And then I would take a serving of crackers. I checked the serving sizes on the backs of packages because every package is different. Some servings of crackers is 10, some is four, some is six. So always check. I always checked and I always went by the serving size. So this one is four crackers. Yeah, because they all have different macros, so make sure you check. Exactly. And we didn't track macros or count calories, but we portioned all of our food. So how we did that was look at the serving size on the back of the nutrition label and or package and go from there. And like I said about the extras, like the dressing, we didn't want to get a full fat cracker where, okay, we're eating only, you know, three or four crackers, but we didn't check the macro, so it's throwing our weight loss off. Yeah, and also, like, this is a serving size of four, but what usually we would do is go in and find the lowest fat crackers that had the biggest serving. I think um, vegetable thins was one of the ones I went for because you could have, like, 12 crackers and I would break up my cheese and I would put little cheeses on each cracker. <laughs> Makes you feel like you're eating much more volume that way. It really does. And that and that's also the key like everything here makes you feel full and satisfied and that helps when you're portioning your food and trying to lose weight and also everything here is for myself either low glycemic or didn't bother my PCOS and those were really important. My last meal of the day, dinner. I liked to eat a ton of veggies. I found that that really helped keep me full and it didn't irritate me. So I ate one cup of rice. Now the rice I chose either basmati because it's lower glycemic or whole grain or brown. Those were the ones that I stuck with. The, the white tended to bloat me, so I basmati is this one. Other than that, it was whole grain or brown. One cup of veggies, it switched between stir fry veggies, steamed broccoli, these are baby Brussels sprouts. One cup and then three ounces of chicken breast. And sometimes I'd make a stir fry out of it, sometimes I'd just eat it like that. And then I would, I always put, in the beginning I couldn't eat plain rice, I can now but in the beginning I needed margarine. So I used light margarine and a serving is two teaspoons and I'll show you what that looks like. It's actually quite a bit, two of these and I put them all over my rice and sometimes on my veggies. I can't believe it's not margarine, but it is. Seasoning wise, I used very little seasoning. I used things like sea salt or Himalayan pink salt because it was less processed and it bothered my, it didn't bother my PCOS like normal table salt did. And I always chose to add my own salt, like I chose lower sodium stuff and then I would add my own salt in usually, except with nuts because I wasn't ready to go there yet. 
And salt and pepper. Those were usually my seasonings. What's pepper? Pepper. Black Pe pepper. Pepper. They really, <laughs> they really like when you say bagel too. Oh yeah, bagel, 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 bagel. <laughs> And alongside of this dinner, I would have some salad. This is baby spinach, but we switched. We would eat mixed greens, we would eat garden salad, we would get romaine, lettuce, whatever it was, it was always two cups. So two of these could do salad, one cup of lettuce with one cup of raw veggies, whatever. Uh, I mixed it up. And then I would have a tablespoon of light dressing. This one is currently our favorite. It's the Olive Garden Light Italian. We always chose light Italian usually for our salad or light Greek, but this one's light Italian and it is so good. And that's it. These meals I looked forward to every single day. I ate this stuff and I was so happy and my PCOS symptoms were going down and I was losing weight. The excess facial hair that can be caused by PCOS was lessening. The dark patches that I was so embarrassed to like lift my arms because there was dark patches underneath, they almost totally faded. It was like amazing that I could choose foods, measure them out, make them low glycemic, or choose low glycemic, lose weight, and get rid of a lot of really irritating PCOS symptoms. And actually look forward to your meals. Yeah, and look forward to my meals. And this, this is like the eighth year in our fitness journey. It took me about two years to lose 130 pounds and I have kept it off for over five years. Eating like this, keeping my PCOS symptoms at bay. So for those of you that are struggling, no, there is not a cure, but know that you can live a happy life with a flatter stomach, with less weight, less PCOS symptoms by choosing foods that work for you. Again, these foods worked for me. These foods and amounts help me lose the weight and lose the PCOS symptoms or lower the PCOS symptoms. Um, it might not work for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. What, what's with your hands? They're, they're fancy. Hands. Are you going to fly away? Yes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Check us out on Instagram. If you didn't already, thumbs this up, okay? The more you thumbs it up and like it, the more YouTube shows us so we can help other people, okay? And um, subscribe if you didn't already. And if you want a cool fight for a shirt, check out the links down below. Also, we have two complete weight loss guides, the first 50 and the next 50, sharing exactly how we lost our first and next 50 pounds. Check out the links down below if you want. Thank you. We love you. Have a great week. Peace out, dudes and dudettes. Oh, you flew downwards this time. And then I flew back up. Ah. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.